I'm here with Zach Thompson after today's win in conference play, the first win of the season over the Bobcats. First off, Zach, congratulations. Man, thank you. It's a big win, big win. I appreciate it. So you're a catcher from a catcher standpoint. What did you like out of Ty today, who went five strong innings before having to turn it over to Blake Daniels? Man, Ty threw really well. He, he filled up the zone, and he, he, on, he filled up the zone and let those guys just get themselves out. You know, for early part of the game, we had some quick innings. We needed those quick innings um, because that keeps pitch count down. Um, you use up less pitching, and you just get ahead of hitters, and that's what he did, and he did a really good job. I thought he did a really good job. Very good job. Had to turn it over to the bullpen in the fifth. Andrew yeah. Garnett comes in, wasn't his day, and he right. up the bases. Right. Nobody out. You see Thomas come in. Mm -hmm. What's your game plan with Greason? Man, with Greason, at that point, I believe we were tied or we were we were down. So, um, you know, we were still trying to get ahead of hitters. But, uh, so. but oh, my gosh. All right. Um, no, we were <laughs> – we were trying to get ahead of hitters, and he did. And, and I told Thomas, I said, you know, when you get ahead of these hitters, they're not going to have a chance of hitting you because your stuff is really good. So, um, but yeah, he, he threw really well. And, uh, are we done? Oh, you got to chill, bro. He got to chill. Um, but, uh, he, uh, nah, he, he threw, he threw really well. Like I said, uh, we, he, he filled it up early, got ahead of guys. And then, you know, his stuff, all of his stuff was working today. So I thought he did a really good job. And the pitching was able to hold up. Greason finished out the game for you guys. And you also had a big part to the offense. I appreciate it. Yes, you sir. You guys uh, able to put you guys up 5-3 to three with your first RBI two-run single. Yes, sir. And then you eventually break the game open, make it 7-5. to five. What were you thinking during that entire plate appearance when you see the Ducks on the pond? Man, I was just trying to stay relaxed. You know, in those moments, it's easy to get really tense, um, in a, especially in a big like big game like this. So I just I just relaxed it. I just relaxed. I uh, I decided to you know trust God with my bats so and he'd take care of it. And um and he did. And and you know I came through for us. Um and you know we're gonna we're gonna need a lot more guys to step up and, and we're gonna have to hit every game. But yeah, man, I I'm just really proud of our team win. And a couple other guys came through too. But um but yeah, I appreciate it, yes, sir. Big win for you guys. Able to open up conference play with a W. We'll see you back in action on Thursday. Congratulations. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thomas Greason, he closed out the game. A big conference win against the Bobcats and came on in a very sticky situation that we'll talk about. But first off, Thomas, congratulations. Thank you. So you come in, like I said, bottom of the six, bases are loaded, tie game 5-5. Five, five. There's no one out. What do you think of walking through the game? Uh, you know, I see the first guys left-handed, know that I probably need to get a strike out there, look for a double play out of the right-hander on deck. And, uh, you know, just come in, put it over the plate, let my defense work. They were doing it all day. So that was that was huge. Went exactly to plan for you. What were you thinking when you saw that final out completed with half of the stretch? Um, you know, it was it was definitely the most fired up I've been coming off the mound in my life. Um, you know, uh, some rough outings early in the year, but finally figuring out everything and settling in and you know, this is uh this is the stretch that matters. So this is this is where, you know, I've I'm really locked in trying to make sure that I can pick my guys up out of the bullpen. Most definitely, you rewarded with your great performance on the bottom of the six with getting handed the ball the rest of the way um, for you. What was it like navigating that lineup that had rocked um, Ty Cobb a little bit as well as Garnett? Um, you know, with me uh, facing facing most of these guys last year and kind of knowing some of them on the team. I know they're aggressive hitters. They like to swing the bat, and uh, I'm someone that plays well against that, a lot of movement. So, you know, I was just focusing on keeping the ball low in the zone, missing barrels, and letting my defense work. What were you thinking when you saw that last fly ball go into Fareed's glove? Uh, finally. Finally. It was it was a hot one. It was a long one. Um, you know, definitely going to need to hydrate after this. But, you know, it was a very good feeling to start off 1-0. Great feeling. 1-0 and in the column. No losses yet for the conference plate. <clears throat> Thomas, congratulations. Thank you. You and Coach Tanner Hall after today's victory over the Bobcats. First off, Coach, congratulations on your first conference win here at Gordon State. Thank you. Thank you. So coming into today, not really setting the world on fire yeah. in March, but it's a new season. You start 0-0 here in conference, and now you leave 1-0. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of been the message. Um, you know, since we played uh, last Wednesday and, and we kind of wrapped up the non-conference slate, you know, obviously not where we want to be. Uh, Record-wise, but I think we've we've grown and, and we've put ourselves in this situation where we've learned a lot. And, and you know, if, if these guys really take, you know, kind of what we can take, you know, take away from those those lessons, and, and we can kind of build off of that for this, you know, I think the conference slate's going to be uh, it's going to be a whole lot better than the non-conference slate. But yeah, like I said, the, the message has been, man, this is almost a new leaf. We're turning over a new leaf with this new conference season, and and leaving the old in the past, and, and building this thing one day at a time in this conference.
couple guys that came in scorching hot, or three guys that you really expect to come in scorching hot. Yeah. Daniel Happ, Breed Jack, and DJ Banks had himself a take. Yeah. Five RBIs, and including a two doubles, and including a bases clear yeah. one that really pushed the game out of reach. What do you think of DJ, and what do you just think of DJ leading the charge? Yeah, man, DJ, DJ has. Um, He's been really good for us, man. Not even, not even when it comes to to what you see out there, at, you know, playing shortstop and, and in the box, and uh, man, but just on and off the field as a leader, leader, a vocal leader for these guys to look up to, to kind of rally behind. And man, he's he's been really good with that. And, and you know, you mentioned Fareed and Hab, and I would even go down to KJ in the four hole. I mean, those four guys are, I mean, third year guys, and man, we you know we count on them to do a lot. Um, you know, we count on them defensively, offensively, um, but even, you know, past that leadership wise, you know, those guys bring it every day and, and, you know, really good example for these younger guys to see. And, but yeah, no, DJ, really, really good to see DJ have that day today. Start us off in conference. Uh, we'll talk about pitching right quick. Uh, Ty Cobb started yeah. for you guys and Ty has flashed some really, and yeah. got roughed up a little bit today, but what he gave you guys was very important. That was like, yeah. 100%. That, that was the name of the game, man. When we, when we start playing these nine inning games, you know, we haven't played too many of them uh, with all these double headers. But, uh, you know, the starter, man, you got to go out there and, A, fill up the zone so you can give us length. And, and Ty Cobb does a really good job of that. And, you know, as a freshman, you know, you get the conference opener. Um, but I will say this about Ty Cobb, and I think I've told you this before, but, man, he's the same. St calm, calm and steady and cool and keeps it, you know, keeps it that way throughout. And, and uh, yeah, I mean, he gave up, I think, five runs. Uh, but, you know, you ha kind of have to look at what happened that inning. You know, we kind of dropped a dropped a pop fly around second base there that kind of, you know, opened the floodgates a little bit. But but I will say he settled back in and gave us uh, really, you know, five really good innings today. Gave you five, gave you five plus. Yeah. Out of contact, chased him from the ball yeah. game in the bottom of the sixth inning. He went to Andrew Garnett. Garnett did not have a yeah. But then you went to a guy who, quite frankly, I did not expect to see him come out of the ball. Yeah. Thomas Greeson. What were you thinking putting him in that moment? No, man, Greason, we, we know what Greason has. Um, you know, it's kind of just been um, a little mental battle with, with, you know, kind of how we started. You know, he started opening day for us. Um, so, you know, we, we know what Greason can do. Um, you know, and recently we've kind of switched up that look for him, bringing him out the pen, kind of giving him a different feel to it. And, and you know, he's built up to this. Um, and today is, is what Thomas Greason can be every day. Um, and so, you know, you saw that today. And, man, you know, we expect that from him going, on, going here on out. Shut out innings, just locking down the W for you guys. Coach, congratulations. Thank you. 1 1 pitch on the way. Line driving to center field. Center fielder will make the diving grab. Tip your cap on that one. But coming home and scoring is KJ when the Highlanders take a 1 0 lead. Take a single, too. On the ground, up the middle. There it is. Right through the hole. One's going to score. Here comes the runner around third. An RBI single for Zach Thompson. On the way to DJ. On the ground, and that's going to be Luke Doral. Base hit. Here comes the runner. One's going to score. Fareed will be held up at third. DJ Banks with an RBI double. And the high line drive in the right field. That's some wild contact. That's going to hit the fence. Round first, digging for second is Burke. Up with it is Bonner. He'll trigger it in. And it's a leadoff double for the Bobcats. Garnett lost upstairs, ball four. The bases are loaded with nobody out. And that's exactly why they turn to Grease. And he's got 18 of them on the year. He leads the Highlanders. This will be a tough task for him. Non enviable. Nobody out. Bases loaded. And one, two, and three do up for the Bobcats. Two, two. Caught him swinging. Strike three. Two, oh. On the ground, Banks up with it, flips to Alford, over to first, have, gets it, and the Highlanders get out of it. Thomas Greason puts some ice in the veins, and we go to the top half of the seventh inning, still tied, 5-5. Oh, one, on the ground, through the hole, a base hit, here comes KJ, getting the windmill and rounding around third, is Martins, he will score. So you, that's Alford around third. Zach Thompson, another RBI single. This one. Line drive into left center field. That ball's going. It is off the fence. Coming home is one run. Here comes Thompson. Rounding around third is Bonner. It is clutch time again for DJ Banks. Another two out double. This time it clears the bases. Fly ball, right center field. Bonner and Fareed. 
Moving in, Fareed's going to make that grab, and the Highlanders come out of East Georgia with the W. They start the conference season 1-0.